Most bookkeepers aren't stuck because they lack skills. They're stuck because they think like an employee, not like the elite 1% who treat bookkeeping like a craft. If you wanna be valued, trusted, and paid what you're worth, you've got to think differently than everyone else. You see, most bookkeepers sabotage their own success in three ways. They overthink, they undercharge, and they wait for confidence instead of creating it. But that is not how elite bookkeepers operate. Once you start thinking like the 1%, the calm, respected, trusted bookkeepers, everything shifts. Clients listen to you, files get cleaner, and people finally see you as an advisor, not an admin. When I first started teaching bookkeeping, I thought people just needed more information. But what I kept seeing was this. They didn't need more. They needed a new identity. They needed to think, talk, and act like an elite bookkeeper. So here are the five principles that separate the top 1% from everyone else. First, the diagnostic eye. Elite bookkeepers see what other people miss. They know what good looks like, and they can instantly spot when something is off. Clearing accounts that don't clear, balances that don't make sense, entity mismatches, and workflows that silently break things downstream. A regular bookkeeper enters transactions. A 1% bookkeeper evaluates reality. Second, the entity filter. Average bookkeepers ask, where should I put this? Elite bookkeepers ask, how will the CPA need to see this? Entity type drives everything. What's an expense? What's equity? What gets capitalized? And how the tax return flows. Categorization isn't data entry. It's upstream anticipation. Third, the anticipation advantage. Most bookkeepers operate in reaction mode. The 1% operate in anticipation mode. They don't wait for CPAs to ask. They prepare early, bundle questions, spot issues weeks ahead, and eliminate surprises. A regular bookkeeper answers questions. An elite bookkeeper eliminates them. Fourth, the translation skill. Business owners don't need spreadsheets. They need clarity. The 1% explains what the numbers mean, what changed, what matters, what's working, what isn't, and what the owner should do next. This is how you stop being tolerated and start being trusted. And finally, the boundary principle. The 1% bookkeeper knows their worth. They don't let clients walk all over them. They don't accept chaos, last minute emergencies, or scope creep. Boundaries aren't rude, they're professional. And when you hold them, clients treat you differently. You see, here's the part most bookkeepers get wrong. They think the problem is knowledge. It's not, it's belief. You don't become elite because you know more. You become elite because you trust yourself enough to apply what you know. So here's what it takes to think like the 1%. Develop the diagnostic eye. Use the entity filter. Practice the anticipation advantage master the translation skill, and hold the boundary principle. If you want to become the bookkeeper people trust, not the one they micromanage, stick around. We're building the next generation of elite bookkeepers, and I'd love to help you become one of them.